Here are five signs to know that you're under spiritual attack. Number one, you feel spiritually drained, fatigued, or you have no desire to do the things of God anymore. So you normally start to see this, especially when you're new walking with Christ because the enemy is trying to distract you from not reading the Bible and he's trying to deter your relationship with God. So sometimes it is a spiritual thing that happens that every time you pick up your Bible, you get tired. Every time you pick up your Bible, your phone goes off. Somebody's calling you. There's something that's going on that distracts you from reading your Bible. Same thing that goes with prayer. Same thing goes with spiritual fatigue. So what that means is that you just become tired of doing these things. Like maybe you are doing them consistently and now you're starting to question is this even working why am i even doing this you know you start to lose a desire of doing these things this leads into number two feeling depressed anxious or discouraged this all depends on what you are in currently if you are waiting for breakthrough or if you're already going through a really difficult time the devil what he likes to do is to continue to keep you down so that you have no more strength anymore so that you don't even try to call out to god so that you can turn away from god so those feelings of discouragement depression and anxiety usually stem from what is going on with your current situation whether it's your finances your job your spouse your friends your family whatever it is you start to become discouraged about those situations or those people that I just mentioned try to make you feel discouraged or you feel anxious or depressed or whatever it is that you are waiting for. But that's spiritual a lot of the time because the enemy will use the closest people around you to get you deterred and to get you to feel down and not want to do the things of God. Number three, your thoughts. Now out of nowhere, you're starting to have intrusive negative thoughts that constantly haunt you, that constantly keep coming to mind. And these negative thoughts are usually surrounded with fear anxiety, heaviness, despair, guilt, and shame. All of those things are not of God. So when you start to have more intrusive thoughts or even thoughts of confusion of whether what you're doing right now, walking with the Lord is the right path, because all of these things together are to get you off the path. So if the enemy is able to get your mind off of Jesus, then now what ends up happening? You start to have a lack of peace. You start to have a lack of joy. You start to have uh, anxiety because you're now looking at the situations around you versus keeping your eyes on God. Number four, you have a temptation to go back to your old lifestyle style to go back into the world when you're undergoing a spiritual attack sometimes you get those thoughts like man maybe I should just go back to what I used to do man this is so hard why did I do this should I just go back and doing all these things yes the Lord delivered me from whatever it is so maybe I should just go back you start to have these temptations to sin you have temptations of lust and all the different things out of nowhere that start to come about again the enemy's trying to get you back to fall down and stay down so that you don't get back up and walk with the Lord. The enemy's goal is to get you off the track to eternal life and the track that leads you closer to God. So when you start to have constant temptations and thoughts to go back to what you used to do, a lot of the time it's a spiritual attack. And number five, the last one, is you start to doubt God's goodness and faithfulness. A lot of the time what ends up happening is that when you're really going through the spiritual warfare, you start to question God and you say, Lord, why is this even happening to me? I've been doing all these things correctly. I've been walking with you. Why is there so much heaviness? Why is there so many attacks? Why is this happening to me? So then now you start to have these thoughts and question, is God even good? Is God even faithful? What am I even doing this for? All of these things are to get you to either curse God to go back to the world, to renounce Jesus, and to really think that God is not good. And the devil does this because his goal is to keep Christians off of the narrow path. So now as we've lifted all these things, now you're probably asking me, well, how do I fight this? How do I get out of this? I realize I'm in a spiritual attack right now. How do I fight? Number one, put the full armor of God, Ephesians 6. That is so key. You need to be putting on the full armor of God every single day. That is in Ephesians 6 from 10 to 19. Putting on that full armor of God, especially number two, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Jesus did it himself in Matthew 4 to the enemy when he tempted him three times. He spoke back scripture to the devil. This is something that is key. Some scriptures that you should really meditate on and memorize is Psalm 91. Always talk about that one. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapons that are formed to fashion against me shall prosper. Psalm 23, Psalm 27. And 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13, especially if you were suffering with that temptation that I mentioned before, really meditate on all of those scriptures. And lastly, prayer, especially with fasting. When you're really going through it, instead of running away from God, this is the time to run towards him. Because the Bible says that when we are undergoing trials, right, and suffering, we run to Jesus Christ because he gives us strength, Isaiah 40, 31. When you're weary, 
Jesus Christ will give you strength to fight, right? These attacks will only last for a season. They do happen often, unfortunately, but they last for a season. And as long as you allow them to last, because we have the authority in Christ to fight the devil back. And it's not coming from our own strength. It's coming from his strength because we can't fight this battle without him. I pray that this helps.